Hello everyone, today from my kitchen I would like to show you how we can prepare kunafa baljibne, cheese kunafa. Uh, there's, you know, many ways to do this this recipe each you know person can make it in his own way and especially each country make it different uh i know two ways to make this kunafa that that one the easy way to make it there's and another one proper lebanese kunafa baljibne which is uh, the dough made out of uh, semolina so we have to prepare it at home i'm going to do this in a different video uh, but this recipe, I'm going to show it to you. It's so easy and simple. Also, also it tastes delicious and uh, made out of shredded phyllo pastry. And uh, we need 200, uh, 200 grams of shredded phyllo pastry. Uh, we need the cheese. I'm going to list down all the ingredients uh, in the description down below. So if you want to uh, try it, give it a try. First step, what I'm going to do... I need the shredded filo pastry. I'm, I'm going to put this shredded in the food processor and ground them. I want them to be very mince. So I'm going to do them bit by bit three times. Okay, so I'm going to mince or grounded this shredded filo pastry and uh, after that, I'm going to show you how we can prepare it. Here we go. The dough now is finished. I'm going to put it here first. I'm not going to add anything on it. Make sure you prepare your syrup before because this recipe needs to add syrup on top when we are going to bake it in the oven, by the way, and those people, they like to make it on the uh, cooker. But mine is electric, elect, electric one, so it doesn't work. If you have the gas one, you have to keep turning it. But I prefer to put it in the oven. Okay guys, here we go. This is after we grounded the shredded filo pastry. Now what I'm going to do, I have this tray. You can use flat one, a um, little bit high from here. I have this tray. I'm going to take some butter and do it like this. Spread the bottom of the tray. About one fully tablespoon of butter. If you have ghee also you can use ghee ghee is so delicious with this recipe now i'm going to take the kunafa and then put it like this Okay, so I'm going to put them, all of them. Perfect. And then now start to press it down. Not too much. Let's make it one level. Like this. Perfect. I'm going to wash my hands after we prepared uh, the bottom. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this separate. I'm going to speak a little bit of, about the cheese. I'm using the proper cheese that everybody uh, use it for the kunafa. That one, the special one, you have to buy the akawi cheese. Akawi cheese. Uh, you can find it in any Mediterranean shop, any Arabic shop. Just ask, ask for akawi cheese. If you didn't find it, you can subtitle it with the mozzarella one. The white one, it comes, you know, uh, with the water. Uh, white one and it's not salty but the akawi one is very 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 salty so what what i did uh, i soak it in the water first i 
chop it also you can shred it grate it i mean you can grate it and then uh, you have to soak it in water at least four hour or so you can do it overnight but in these four hours you have to change the water wash it and then put water again and that you have to do it about uh, five six times in these four hours so each also if you have if you ha if you have a time and if you are at home so you can change the water wash it and then change it every half an hour and make sure you soak it in water for four hours because we want to uh, take off all the saltiest from this cheese and now it's ready as you can see i just make it like this into my hands and it's ready to be using for the kunafa i'm going to take it and then put it on top of the uh, filo pastry also i preheated my oven to 180 degrees and i'm going to put this kunafa at the bottom don't put it high just put it at the bottom in your oven also you can put it on the cooker but make sure you have the gas one i have uh, my cooker is it's electricity one so it doesn't work it will burn and the cheese won't melt so if you have the gas one turn it to uh, to the lowest heat and then keep turn it like this because if you leave it it will stick and it will burn so here are the best uh, way to do it now everything is ready now i'm going to pop up this tray into the oven uh, and i'm going to check it after 10 minutes until i'm going to check the edge of this part if it's brown which is mean ready if it's golden brown um will be ready i'm going to take it and then flip it over and my kunafa will be ready and the cheese will uh, will melt in the oven and it will be so delicious and as i said you have to you ha you have to prepare uh, the syrup because we are going to pour it on top of that kuna okay then so i'm going to put this straight into the oven and i'll see you after that and i'm going to skip this part to so see you okay guys so this is after 30 minutes in the oven the kunafa is ready now now i'm going to flip it over in this um in this plate like so and then take this part wow that's so cool perfect so now i'm going to drizzle some syrup on top you can add as much as you like half a cup one cup cool Look at this beautiful color. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece and show you the kunafa. Wow, that smells so yummy. Look at the cheese. like you can add some crushed pistachio on top and a little bit of more syrup mm, wow 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 also you can add some uh, pistachio on the kunafa if you like it doesn't matter also you can eat it with baguette and there is special bread for um, for kunafa i want to make it in one day uh but let me let me just taste it and i'm sure it tastes 
So delicious. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. Mm -mm. So delicious. The cheese melt. The sweet. The kunafa dough. Tastes absolutely delicious. Mm. I hope you can taste it. Now, so guys, if you enjoy, thumbs up please. If you enjoy watching this video, if, I, if you like this recipe. And uh, I hope you like it and I hope you give it a try as well. So thumbs up, subscribe for more videos please. And thanks, thank you very much from my heart uh, for watching and uh, for all my subscribers. And I will see you soon in another video. Oh, another recipe of food. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.